Welcome to 3D Online Tuition. It is a three-dimensional e-learning method based on audio, visual, and event. Chapter 2. Cell as a Unit of Life. 2.1. What is a cell? 2.2. Unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. 2.3. Cell organization in the human body. 2.4. Human being are complex organisms. 2.1. What is a cell? 1. Cells are the basic units of all living things, including animals, plants, and humans. 2. Cells are the building blocks of life. 3. A cell is the smallest unit of living things that can function and survive on its own. 4. Cells are responsible for carrying out life processes such as respiration, division, excretion, digestion, reproduction, and growth. 5. All cells will eventually die, and new cells will form through cell division process. Robert Hooke was the first person to name the cell, which means a small room, when he was examining pieces of cork using a microscope that he had invented. Using a microscope 1. A microscope is an instrument used to see objects that are too small to be seen by the naked eye. 2. A microscope is used to observe very tiny objects by magnifies the image of the objects through series of magnifying lenses. The parts of microscope and their functions. Eyepiece to magnify image of the specimen can vary in magnification, usually around 10 times. Coarse focus knob to move the lens closer to the focus on the specimen. Fine focus knob to move the objective lens closer to the focus on the specimen in small degree. Arm to hold the microscope. Diaphragm to control the amount of light that goes through the specimen. Mirror to reflect light from light source, lamp or sunlight, up through the diaphragm. Base to stabilize the microscope. Condenser to concentrate light from mirror onto the specimen. Stage to place specimen for investigation. Objective lens to magnify image of the specimen to different scales such as 10 times, 40 times, etc. How to use a microscope. Step 1. Place the microscope on a flat surface and in a well-lit place. Step 2. Turn the low-power objective lens until it is directly above the hole in the stage. Step 3. Raise the condenser to its highest position, and open the diaphragm to the maximum, to allow as much as light as possible to enter. Step 4. Look through the eyepiece, and adjust the mirror, to obtain a bright field of view. Step 5. Place a slide with the specimen, onto the stage, and clip it to hold it in place. Step 6. Start with a lower magnification objective lens first. Turn the coarse focus knob clockwise to move the objective lens down until it almost touches the slide. Step 7. Look through the eyepiece, turn the coarse focus knob anti clockwise to move the objective lens up until a clear image of the specimen seen. Step 8. If necessary, change the objective lens with the higher magnification. Step 9. Adjust the fine focus knob to obtain the sharpest image of the specimen. General Structure of Animal Cells and Plant Cells 1. Animals and plant have different kinds of cells, with various shapes and sizes. 2. In general, a cell consists of a cell membrane, surrounding a living component of protoplasm. 3. Protoplasm consists of nucleus and cytoplasm. 4. There are various types of animal cells, and plant cells, that have different shapes, and functions, as shown in the pictures beside. Animal cell. Red blood cell. Nerve cell. Paramecium. Plant cell. 
Epidermal cell in the root. Guard cell. Palisade cell. The functions of cell structures. Cell membrane. Nucleus. Cytoplasm. Vacuoles. Cell wall. Chloroplasts. Cell membrane. Forms the outer boundary of a cell. Thin, partially permeable layer. Substances move in and out of the cell. Nucleus. Located at the center of the cell. Spherical in shape. Control center of the cell. Cytoplasm. Jelly like medium that contains water and many other substances, such as protein, starch, minerals, and vitamins. It is enclosed by the cell membrane. Chemical reactions take place here. Vacuoles. Fluid like sac found in the cytoplasm. In animal cell, vacuole are tiny spaces, containing air, liquid and food substances. In plant cell, the vacuole forms the biggest part of the cell, and usually reduces the cytoplasm to a thin lining. In every plant cell, there is usually one vacuole filled with cell sap. The cell sap contains water, and dissolved substances, such as sugar and salt. Cell wall. It is a rigid outer wall of plant cells. Made up of tough substance, called cellulose, which is form a layer around the cell. It supports, and gives shape to the cell. Chloroplasts. Small disc-like structure, found in the cells of green plants. Contains a green pigment, called chlorophyll. Comparison between animal cells, and plant cells. The similarities between animal cells, and plant cells are. Basic unit. Cell membrane surrounds the nucleus and cytoplasm. Carry out live processes. The difference between animal cells, and plant cells are. Cell shape. Do not have a fixed shape. Have a fixed shape. Cell arrangement. Not arranged in a fixed pattern. Normally arranged in a regular pattern. Cell wall. Do not have a cell wall. Have a cell wall. Vacuoles. Usually absent, but if present, vacuoles are small. Have one or few large vacuoles. Cytoplasts. Fills up the cell. Is reduced to thin lining. Chloroplasts. Do not have chloroplasts. Green plant have chloroplasts in their cytoplasm to make food. Food storage. Store food in the form of glycogen granules. Store food in the form of starch grains. 2.2 Unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms. 1. A unicellular organism is a living thing that have just one cell. 2. Unicellular organisms are microorganisms because of their tiny size. They only can be viewed under the help of a microscope. 3. Although unicellular organisms have only one cell, they still can function as a living thing, with life processes such as nutrition, respiration, excretion, digestion, movement, reproduction, and growth. Examples Yeast, Amoeba, Chlamydomnas, Paramecium. Multicellular organisms. 1. A multicellular organism is a living thing that have more than one cell. 2. Usually multicellular organisms are bigger in size because they have a larger number of cells. 3. Multicellular organisms carry out life processes such as nutrition, respiration, excretion, digestion, movement, reproduction, and growth. Examples Spirogyra, Mucor, Hydra. 2.3 Cell Organization in the Human Body The Type and Function of Human Cells 1. Human beings are the most complex multicellular organisms. The human body consisted of billions of cells. 2. Cell specification is where different type of cells carried out different type of functions or jobs. 3. Cell specification allows the organism to perform the various life processes effectively. 
4. There are more than 200 different types of cells in the human body. These cells are different in shapes and structures. These type of cells is called specialized cells. Specialized cells. Muscle cell. Enable movement of body parts. Bone cells. Enable support to the body. White blood cells. Enable protection of the body against bacteria. The different types of human cells, and their functions. Epithelial cells. Structure. A. Small, and fit well together. B. Hair-like structures called cilia, growing out from the cell. Functions. A. Cover the entire outer surface of the body, line cavities, and organs. B. Used in the absorption, and excretion of substances. Nerve cells. Structure. A. Very long. B. Thread-like. Functions. A. Detect stimuli from the surrounding environment. B. Transmit electrical signals to whole body. Sperm cells. Structure. A. Look like a microscopic tadpole. B. Contain genetic information from the father. Functions. A. To fertilize an egg cell. B. Enabling information to be transferred from one generation to the next. Egg cells. Structure. A. A large spherical cell. B. Contain genetic information from the mother. Functions. A. To be fertilized by sperm cell. B. Enabling information to be transferred from one generation to the next. Red blood cells. Structure. A. Biconcave with a dip in the center of each side. B. Do not have a nucleus. Functions. A. To transport oxygen to body cells. B. To remove carbon dioxide from body cells, and transporting it to the lungs for exhale. Tissues. 1. Tissues are a group of cells organized to perform specific function in human body. 2. There are four main groups of tissues, epithelial tissues, connective tissues, nerve tissues and muscle tissues. Epithelial tissues. Structure. Cells arrange into sheets, and cover the surface of the body, and organs. Functions. Acts as a protective lining, and covering of the surfaces of the skin, and organs. Examples. Endothelium, lining body cavities, and epithelium, lining the external surfaces. Connective tissues. Structure. Consist of several types of cells within a non-cellular substance. Functions. Forms the structural framework of the body. Provides protection for vital organs. Provides support for interconnection. Transport nutrients and waste products. Examples. Bone, cartilage, tendon, ligament, blood and lymph tissues. Nerve tissues. Structure. Consist of cells which conduct electrical impulse. Functions. Carries information in the form of electrical impulse. Behave like a cable, with many small wires transmitting information to the central nervous system, CNS, and from the CNS to the different parts of the body. Examples. Nerve tissues in the brain and the spinal cord. Muscle tissues. Structure. Consist of three main types of muscles, but all are specialized for contraction. Functions. Enable body movement through contraction. Movement may involve the part or whole body, and along a tube within it. Examples. Smooth muscles, skeletal muscles and cardiac muscles. Organs. 1. Organ is a group of different tissues, that work together to do a particular job. 2. An organ is responsible for carrying out one, or more functions. Brain. Function. Controls, and coordinates activities of the body. Lungs. 
function carries out gaseous exchange liver function breaks down excess proteins large intestine function absorbs water kidney function excretes waste products eyes function detecting light heart function pumps blood throughout the entire body stomach function breaks down food substances small intestine function digests and absorbs digested food substances skin function protects and covers the whole body system one several organs are linked together to form a body system which performs a particular function digestive system functions to digest different types of food enabling nutrients to be absorbed easily by the body respiratory system functions to inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide blood circulatory system functions to transport blood to the entire body to transport excretory products nervous system functions to coordinate and control most of the nerve activities to receive external stimuli and coordinates responses excretory system functions to remove excretory products from the body lungs remove carbon dioxide and water vapor kidneys remove urea mineral salts and water skin remove urea mineral salts and water reproductive system functions to produce reproductive cells male testis produces sperm cells female ovary produces egg cells muscular system functions to allow body movements skeletal system functions to support the body to protect internal organs to enable body movements lymphatic system functions to return lymph to the bloodstream to protect the body from disease causing organisms endocrine system functions to produce hormones to coordinate and control body responses to stimuli to support life processes such as growth and reproduction organisms 1 a multicellular organism like human body is made up of several systems working together. 2. Multicellular organisms have different cells to carry out different kinds of functions. 3. The cells are organized into tissues, the tissues into organs, the organs into systems, and, ultimately, systems into a complex organism. Cell. The basic unit of life. Tissues. A group of the same type of cells that work together to carry out a function. Organ. A group of different tissues that work together to carry out a function. System. A group of different organs that work together to carry out a function. Organism. Made up of different systems that are coordinated to carry out various functions. 2.4. Human beings are complex organisms. 1. The human body is made up of billions of cells. It is a complex organism. 2. The process of each type of cell is specialized to perform a specific function is known as division of labor. 3. Division of labor among cells, tissues, organs and systems enable a smooth and efficient functioning of the human body. 4. The human body is made up of many systems. Each system is specialized to carry out a certain life process. 5. Specialized cells and body systems do different work, but all work together to ensure that the human body functions efficiently. Happy learning!